Okay, folks, here's a quick review of the Armored Hydra Soldier uh, that was produced by Hasbro as a part of the Captain America, the First Avenger line of products. I picked this up at Target for $7.99. When I got this figure out of its blister pack, um, I was immediately impressed once again with the uh, level of detail that had been done on this figure. In particular, uh, this area right in here with the uh, helmet is very nicely done. Also, the uh, harness has a very, very nice amount of detail, as well as the ammo belt on his right arm. Very, very nice job. Um, I was very, very impressed with that. Okay, so uh, what I want to do now is I'm going to pan down and show you the accessories that uh, the soldier comes with. Okay, and as you can see, uh, number one, we have the same type of rocket launcher or energy blaster uh, that came with the Red Skull figure. We also have this other uh, energy blaster uh, right here. Now, uh, as was the case with the uh, Red Skull's rocket launcher, uh, this one does fire the very same way. So I'll show you that real quick. And as you can see, uh, the projectile fires right out. Um, one thing I will say about this, maybe it's just with my figure, but uh, the spring action works a little bit better than uh, the Red Skull launcher that I got. However, uh, the same problem still exists as far as the construction of the accessory. Uh, if you get too aggressive trying to remove it out of the blister pack, you could potentially uh, warp the stock or warp uh, the handles on the on the weapon. So be careful when you're taking it out. All right, now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a 360 and I will let you see the uh, uh, detailing that has been done on this figure. It's very, very nicely done. See the level of detail on this ammo belt? It looks really nice. Okay, so overall, I uh, really give this figure a lot of high marks as far as its presentation. Uh, it looks very good, and I have no complaints about that. Uh, the only uh, criticism that I do have of it is the uh, rocket launcher. Uh, the plastics on it feel very soft, and if you're not careful, you could potentially put a lot of stress marks on the weapon when you're taking it out of the blister pack. So, uh, yep, yeah, go on ahead and get this one for your Captain America collection. Uh, it's a very, very nice figure to have. Okay, so on that note... Take care and stay tuned for my next review. Have a good one.